Good evening, everyone. Tonight I'd like to take a very simple piece. It's about a grade two level, but show some very important principles that allow you to get emotion and feeling into the piece and rhythm right from the start. It, it starts with creating a pulse and the way you can practice to get to create that pulse but it also involves how you produce the tone because if you don't have the right kind of sound you're not going to create the right emotional effect so so what I'm trying to show you here is this piece it's called the swallow and it's a study from about the grade 2 piano conservatory book and it's uh, by Burgmuller, and it's, uh, he lived from 1806 to 1874. And the piece is, you've got to imagine the bird flying in the sky, but now you've got to create this, this pulse, this uh, pulsation or foundation of a pulse. So if you can take the quarter beats, it's in 4-4 four, four time, and the melody soars on top of this rhythm. So if you can think of, I'll just show you, like for example, the, when you depress a key, the, the hammer, the whip and the jack comes up underneath the knuckle and slings the hammer up into the wire. And if you can think of plucking the wire, the key, or brushing it like that, uh, licking it like that as you flop down through but not thinking of playing all the way to the bottom of the key just enough to get that jack to flip the the knuckle and the hammer up into the wire so it's like a porcupine quill plucking and you've got to be able to pluck the sound out but with no bottom if you can flop right through to the bottom but don't feel you have to play to the bottom of the key then with that movable wrist, you're going to get a much more beautiful sound. So if, if I show you the quarters to create the pulse, it would be this kind of thing. So, and I can put the damper pedal down, and that helps to, when I'm not linking the notes by actually holding one down till the next place. But if I think of one, two, so one, so one to two, three to four. The other thing is that so often you need to think beat four as stronger than beat one because four, one, and beat two is stronger than beat three. So one, two, three, four, one. It lunges you into that next um, pattern of rhythm. So if you think of one, two, now one. Imagine the swallow is soaring through the sky like that. One, one, two, three. So one, two, three. But that's a hit, you see. I got to have the give in the wrist. One, two, one, two, three. And if I come down like that, as long as I come down far enough with the palm of the hand, I can take without being right on the bottom of the key and it'll keep it floating. So one, two, three. And the accents, are, I keep stopping, but the accents are, uh, he's got them written as tenuto signs on the second and the fourth beat. So it's one, two, three, to get that feeling. Now you can practice it solid like because this is just a G major chord, the piece is in G major. One, but it says lively but not too. So one, two, three, four, two. But you see how it has to sit within that pulse. One, two, three. And when you do that flick of the finger under, keep it so loose and coming down in in the wrist that the note is buoyant. It's, it's like playing ping pong in the clouds. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
that's going to sit on that one. So if I play it solid, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, so four, one, two, three, four, one, two, That gives you a few ideas on, on how you can take a very simple piece and create a foundation of rhythm, a pulse, before you play it, so that you're not just playing one, two, three, four, 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 one, and hoping you're getting the right notes. But here, uh, this. because of all these leaps, but um, it's, a, it's a good piece to, to learn that way. When I have the memory, I'll play it for you once again and show you what I mean as far as the, uh, the pulse from the beginning of the piece to the end, that it's always sitting on that pulsation and keeps it alive. If you check your pulse and there's no pulse, you're not alive. <laughs> and it's the same with the piece of music, so you need that pulse to keep it uh, vibrant and uh, buoyant and going somewhere within, you see, you have to be able to do rubato where you can pull back and make up for it by moving ahead and this kind of stuff. But you can't do it until you've created this pulse where you're in the groove of the piece. So anyway, I hope that gives you a few ideas when you're practicing. Have a good night. Bye-bye.